This video covers the two plastic model toilet paper holders that we make at WG Wood Products. There are two versions of this. The PLTP1 looks like this one. It has a little bit fancier frame design to the outside of it. And then we have the PLTP7, which has a more contemporary bevel frame going around it. Otherwise, the two are absolutely identical. What makes these unique is the fact that they are designed for replacing these old metal chrome units. If you've ever looked at these little metal chrome units, they call themselves a recessed holder, but that's really a lie. They don't really recess. If you look at it, it recesses maybe an inch. That's the point of having a recessed holder if it's not recessing. So we made ours to design so that they actually recess the entire roll as much as possible into the wall. So you get a full three and a half inch deep box on them. It's an easy installation. All you need is a little bit of liquid nail. Just put that liquid nails around the outside edge of the frame, push it into the wall opening. It's just going to glue to the outside surface of your drywall. Don't have to worry about where the studs are because it's not going to screw to those anyway. It doesn't matter. Um, these are designed to hold all different sizes of uh, toilet paper holders or toilet paper rolls except for the large Charmin and Costco rolls. It will not hold these. They're too big for the inside of it. What happens is when you put them on there, they start to drag at the top of it, and it takes quite a while before that stops because the roll is so big. They're just not made for that. But you can certainly get your old single rolls, your double rolls, and your Scott 1000s in them just fine. Uh, the plastic holder itself is made from antimicrobial plastic, so it helps to resist germs. Fits in standard 2x4 walls. As long as you've got a two by four wall, three and a half inches deep, you're good to go. Um, it can even be put into the side of a vanity if you have the space for it. Now, obviously, if your vanity has a drawer or something like that where you can't, you have to have the space for that to go into, you're going to have to modify where you're going to put it, but it can be done because you're simply gluing it again to the outside surface of that wall, whatever it happens to be.